Uh, hi everyone, welcome to my channel. So in this video over here, we have the uh, center pull uh, vintage uh, brake calipers, and I'm gonna talk about the adjustment, which will include the uh, uh, calipers, uh, the, the centering, as well as the table tension, tension, and how to make the brakes as efficient as possible to brake on your bike. And stay tuned, we're, come, we're going right now at it. Okay, so for this task, you're gonna need some uh, park tool, multi-tool. You will need the wrench number 10 and some uh, lube from park tool. This is all you need for this pretty simple task. Okay, so for the very first thing, when I approach these uh, center caliper brakes, first thing that I like to see is the, how is the position of the caliper? So now for you guys, I'm gonna uh, press the uh, brake. And as you see here, this one uh, bites uh, right at the center where you want it. So that's something nice. That problem is definitely sorted out in here. Now, the second issue that you may have with the uh, pads is that the uh, if, if they uh, start biting at the back, so they're going to make the contact with the wheel at the back, they will be noisy. What you want to do, you want to make sure that they bite equally or they bite first with the front side. So if you look over here, if I'm zooming, they do bite slightly from the front. So when the wheel goes this way, they're not going to make that uh, counter contact, which will produce that uh, brake noise. Uh, I would say the brake pad noise. The same can be said for the one on the other side as well. So this pad and the other pad, you want the wheel, you want the uh, pads to bite the wheel from the front, not from the back. Uh, now, for whatever reason, if you do have to... Uh, uh, adjust the the brake uh, the brake pad. You will need the wrench number ten, and I let you see over here. Uh, gently by applying it up and down, you will be able to move the uh, brake caliper to be uh, lined up with the rim, which will bite the rim very effectively. Okay, now that now takes us to the problem number two, which is the centering. Now uh, this uh, brake caliper in particular case has the issue here and I'm going to show you the gap on this side and the gap on this side over here are not the same. Now uh, what, has, what ends up happening when you don't have the, the equal gap, uh, the brake pads will push the wheel a little bit on this side. Let's, let's show you that. You may barely be able to see that the uh, the the caliper the caliper and the brake pads are pushing the wheel this way, and I'm going to show you what you're going to do now. And you're going to need this wrench number ten again to fix this problem. Okay, so over here we have the bolt which is located right at the back of the fork, and I do have the wrench number ten. Now what we need to do because you have a lot of uh, gap here on this side. Hopefully you can see this right here. I'm gonna put this wrench over here and I wanna push uh, the, this uh, bolt uh, clockwise. So I'm gonna push it clockwise so, so I can uh, close the gap here. Okay, see? See now? Okay, now the gap that I have here and the gap that I have on the other side should be very, very similar. Now let's look again here. I think I'm getting there uh, very, very close. So again, you don't have to push this uh, 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 bolt really loosely, but you gotta just apply enough tension, which will in most cases uh, bring this uh, gap to be uh, uh, very similar. And that's how you're gonna center your uh, brake, uh, brake uh, pad centering. So your brake pads are gonna be centered. And hopefully now when I press, it's not pushing the wheel on this side because we have an even gap on both sides. I'm gonna move the tire, you can see that again. I don't see the tire being moved, or actually the rim, right or left. So you see what I'm talking about. This is how you center it with that single wrench and the single bolt at the back here. Okay, now let's move to the uh, centering. Uh, let's move to the cable tension. Okay, now for the end over here, you're gonna need the wrench number uh, uh, eight. So eight over here and a nine over here on this side 
to loosen this bolt over here, which will allow you to pull the uh, cable uh, this way out so you can apply some more tension. Now, what I like to do if uh, in this particular case, uh, the, can the tension is just uh, fine, it is perfect, but there's another option of doing this a little bit easier, which will be to mess with the ferrule right here, you see? And uh, so if you, if, you, if you mess with this bolt, it will uh, tighten and loosen this uh, cable tension much easier. And since this bolt like to seize and get a little stubborn, I like to apply some part to loop. So just some part to loop over here. And it's going to give some lubrication here. So for the, for the next time, it's gonna be much easier to mess with this bolt uh, ferrule adjustment and do your uh, cable adjustment much easier. Hopefully you found this useful. Like, subscribe and take care.